What if the world was quietly healing from a storm that lasted more than 40 years? For decades, HIV meant silence, fear behind hospital doors, empty chairs at dinner tables. But in the shadows of science, a new chapter is being written. Patients once told there was no hope are now hearing the unthinkable. You're cured. This isn't a headline. It's not a future dream. It's real. It's now. And still most of the world doesn't know. What if history's greatest medical victory was unfolding in silence? Would you want to witness it? Welcome to Curious Verse. In the 1980s, a single word began to echo through the news and in everyday conversations, always accompanied by fear and silence. AIDS. It was the name of a mysterious syndrome that seemed to strike without mercy, taking the lives of young people, adults, and entire families, leading them to an uncertain fate. In a short time, HIV became more than just a virus. It turned into a global ghost, an almost automatic death sentence. The first victims found no answers in hospitals, and doctors stood helpless before an enemy that seemed invisible and unstoppable. The world witnessed the birth of one of the greatest epidemics in modern history, a wave that brought not only physical suffering, but also an unprecedented cultural and social weight. Being diagnosed with HIV at that time meant far more than facing a disease. It meant carrying a cruel stigma. People were removed from their jobs, rejected by their communities, and often abandoned by their own families. The fear of contagion created discrimination in schools, churches, and even within homes. HIV did not only affect the body, it broke bonds, spread prejudice, and built a wall of silence around those who most needed support. And with every new case revealed, the feeling grew stronger that humanity had lost control. At the same time, the urgency for answers intensified. Activists took to the streets demanding government attention and investment in research. Brave voices broke through the silence, denouncing indifference in the face of a crisis that devastated entire communities. Social movements became the front line of this battle, pressuring scientists and politicians to recognize that AIDS was not merely a problem for isolated groups, but a universal threat. This fight for visibility was the spark that pushed science to move faster. HIV changed medicine, changed politics, and changed the world. It exposed social vulnerabilities, revealed inequalities, and showed that no barrier, geographical, cultural, or religious, could stop a virus. Yet, even in the midst of pain, one certainty emerged. Humanity would not give up this fight. And so, from despair and resistance, was born the search for a treatment that could one day turn this death sentence into hope for life. As the epidemic advanced and societal pressure mounted, science had no choice. It had to react. And so, after years of intense research, the first medications capable of slowing the progression of HIV began to emerge, antiretrovirals. In the beginning, they were heavy, riddled with side effects, demanding rigid and painful routines from patients. Yet even so, they represented the first true spark of hope. For the first time, the word control began to replace the word sentence. The virus was still there, but death was no longer immediate. Gradually, medicine refined its combinations. The daily cocktail of pills gave way to more modern, less invasive treatments with increasingly better results. What was once seen as a deadly disease was now becoming a chronic condition, one that could be managed over a lifetime. Life expectancy improved. Families began dreaming about the future again. HIV was no longer the end. It had become a battle, one that could be fought and won day after day. But there was a price. For this control to be possible, millions of people had to take medication every single day, without fail, for the rest of their lives. The dependency on these drugs became an invisible prison, and the side effects continued to take their toll. On top of that, the cost of treatment became a heavy burden for governments, for healthcare systems, and for families. HIV was no longer an invincible enemy, but it was still far from defeated. And it was in this scenario, of partial victories and inescapable limitations, that a new question began to echo in the heart of science and society. What if we could go further? 
What if, instead of simply controlling the virus, we could eliminate it completely? It was from that very restlessness that the research was born, the kind that would once again change the course of history. And then, after decades of struggle, a new chapter began to take shape. Scientists announced results that sound almost like science fiction. An experimental treatment achieved over 86% success in tested patients. This wasn't just about controlling the virus anymore. It was about pushing it into a state of deep remission, where the body remained free of infection signs even without daily medication. For the first time, the word cure stopped being a distant dream and began appearing in scientific reports with strength and legitimacy. But what exactly does this remission mean? In simple terms, it's when HIV becomes undetectable and unable to replicate, allowing the body to function without the constant presence of antiretrovirals. It's not yet a definitive cure, but it is the closest science has ever come. For millions of patients, Hearing about this possibility is like seeing, for the first time, a light at the end of a tunnel that once seemed endless. The studies point not only to efficacy, but to consistency in the results. A success rate this high can't be ignored. And suddenly, the world finds itself standing before the chance to turn one of the most painful pages in modern history. The cure for HIV, once thought unreachable, now stands before humanity like a half-open door, one that must be pushed with more strength, more funding, and more courage. And it is precisely at this hopeful moment that a disturbing contradiction appears. If we're this close to achieving the impossible, why do some seem eager to stop the race? Who would benefit from halting science when the finish line is within sight? These questions become inevitable as we look toward the next chapter of this story. But even in the face of this extraordinary breakthrough, there remains a barrier that cannot be ignored. The line between remission and a definitive cure. Scientists remain cautious because HIV is a cunning enemy. It can hide in silent reservoirs within the body, invisible even to the most sophisticated tests. It's as if the virus is playing a game of hide and seek, waiting for the right moment to reappear. That's why, Despite the 86% success rate, we still can't say for certain that we've reached a total cure. Another challenge is access. Experimental treatments are often limited to small groups within highly controlled protocols. The road from a research lab to a pharmacy shelf is long, expensive and full of obstacles. Discovery alone isn't enough. A therapy must prove its effectiveness, its safety, its economic feasibility and ensure that it becomes a real solution for millions, not just a privilege for a few. There's also the ethical dimension. How can we conduct trials in patients without creating unrealistic expectations? How do we balance the right to try a new therapy with the risk of unknown side effects? Science moves forward, but it must not run blindly. It must look back and remember the lives that trust in its path. Hope must walk hand in hand with responsibility. And it is in this space, between a victory declared and the questions that still linger, where the true complexity of this story lives. A complexity that doesn't diminish the achievement, but reminds us that the fight against HIV is a marathon, not a sprint. And every step forward must be grounded in solid foundations so that hope does not collapse. Thoughtful. If science truly reaches a cure for HIV, the impact would be immeasurable. Imagine millions of people who today rely on daily medication, finally free from this invisible prison. Imagine families who have lived for decades under the fear of stigma, now able to look toward the future without the shadow of disease. It would be more than a medical milestone. It would be a cultural, social, and even spiritual victory. A deep wound in the history of humanity would finally begin to heal. The consequences would reach far beyond hospital walls. Countries with high infection rates would see their economies relieved from the burden of continuous treatments. Governments could redirect billions of dollars previously spent fighting HIV to other urgent areas of healthcare. Hospitals and clinics could shift their focus to new challenges. The global impact would be like a domino effect, opening the way for new paths. 
And we must not forget the stigma. For decades, HIV has been used as a label, a reason to exclude. A cure could shatter prejudice and restore dignity to millions of people who have been unfairly marginalized. It would be a silent revolution in how society views not only HIV, but all diseases tied to fear and discrimination. Serious. And in the face of all this, one question echoes louder than ever. Are we ready to live in a world where HIV is just a memory? Or will we let this chance slip away, allowing stigma and lack of investment to delay what could become the greatest medical breakthrough of the century? The future ahead could change everything. Science doesn't promise miracles, but every discovery shows that the impossible can become real. The cure for HIV is no longer just a dream, it's a call for action, a choice for humanity, to stay stuck in politics or invest in a legacy that transforms lives. If progress continues, we may soon see HIV as a story we've overcome. And this isn't just about HIV. The same tools could help cure other diseases, viruses, even some cancers. The ripple effect of science is powerful. We're standing at the edge of a new era, where healing becomes possible, where hope becomes real. But this choice isn't just for scientists, it's for all of us. When we support research, we're part of the breakthrough. Every action matters. Sharing information, speaking up, pushing for change. Together we turn possibility into victory. HIV brought pain and loss, but also courage and unity. We got here because people didn't give up. Now it's our turn to carry that flame forward. We may be witnessing one of medicine's greatest victories. And when that day comes, it won't be science alone that wins. It will be humanity. If you believe this story must be told, subscribe to Curious Verse, share this video, and leave your voice in the comments. You are part of this change.